Uh, the first time I saw him, he uh, kind of scared the fuck out of me for one, since for a uh, second I, I was battling, I think it was one of the Hydenites and uh, one of the big stone guys. <laughs> right on that little platform over there, and I did not see the dragon until he woke up and uh, sp uh, spouted fire. Killed me and the two warriors that I was fighting. <laughs> Just one shot at us. That was amazing, man. I It's probably one of the biggest reasons why I actually loved playing Scholars of the First Sin the first time around. Those surprises. <laughs> I don't know. It definitely makes the game more interesting when you have no idea what's going to pop out from the, uh, from the corner. It's kind of cool. But, Ornstein, boys. Uh, gee, okay, you know what? I got 30 irons, should be okay. This guy's gonna be difficult because he's really, really fast. Might want to put another stone here. Here we go. See, I can't even shoot. Oh! From far away because he's just gonna dash me. A little butt attack, like a Super Mario Bro or something with his ground pound. Okay. I think I only feel comfortable doing one bow attack. I'm not sure if I can get away with two. Especially because it's so hard to cancel it after you actually start the animation. You can do it, I think. Let me see. Yeah. But if you shoot it... It takes a while before you actually are able to dodge up the rat, so... Hey! It's not going bad at all. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Yeah, okay. Maybe... Maybe this guy's a chump. Doing too much credit. Thinking that because he has a, a Leo ring, he can just stab me to death. Counter me and whatnot. Can't counter a bow, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, boy. Man, that sl slash, like, opened my face. Come on, buddy. Come on. Jeez. I miss smoke. I truly do. If you guys don't know, they were actually my favorite uh, boss battle in Dark Souls 1, Hornstein's mode. I, um... They were the first boss that I legitimately couldn't defeat until I tried like 20 times to kill them. I actually made a video on YouTube about it. As soon as I defeated them, I made a video about how just in love with Dark Souls and how it like rewarded like skillful plays. And how, like, I don't know, it just, it, it just felt like a really good game at the time. That was years ago when I made that video, but... It definitely took me, like, 15 to 20 tries to finally kill them. And if you remember Dark Souls... Uh, the way from the last bonfire... It's actually kind of far. So if you die in Ornstein and Smog, it's kind of a pain in the ass to go all the way back. So it's very punishing, but man, was it rewarding. So yeah, I do miss Moog. Done! Oh, I forgot the headshot again. See, I'm not good at remembering things, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now, the Leo Ring, I think it only works... Does it work with thrust or piercing stuff? I think it's thrust. So I don't think it's gonna work for us. Um, yeah, thrust. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. We got some chests we're gonna pick up. Also, I never understood the purpose of um, of the bonfire down there by the uh, by the stairs, like I, I guess I get it, you know, it's kind of like a shortcut to come back to this guy and talk to him because if you if you wanted to talk to him and you didn't have this bonfire, you would have to go all the way from the Dragon Rider bonfire bonfire kill all these guys and then just just to freaking walk here, yeah, it would be a pain in the ass, but like, I don't know, like a bonfire just for one NPC seems kind of overkill if you ask me. People keep saying that. But I have to try because it's they may have changed things. Jeez. Alright, let's go all the way back. I'm gonna show you guys this level up. Because I've been kind of hiding it from you guys for far too long. So you get to see this one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna level adaptability because I cannot keep on playing this game without adaptability. Especially, um... See, I, I tried to have at least 20 to 30 adaptability by the time I fight the uh, Smelter Demon. Because fighting that guy with that ended up ability is literally like GG. Like, you lost. You might as well just restart your character. Okay, I'm, I'm obviously super, like, exaggerating. 
but it is really just it, it is really bad uh, do I want to get rid of this salt I don't remember what you get from the uh, from Mornstain I genuinely just don't remember I, I do want the Dragon Rider bow so it's pretty much all I'm gonna need there are honestly not that many bows that come from bosses. You got the one from Nishandra, the Bow of Want, and then you have the Dragon Rider Bow. There might be some greater bows and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna use those. Or should I? No, because those require strength, which I'm not using, so... Eh. <laughs> All right, so let's do some uh, some improvements. I still haven't used my, my Longbow. Let's see, so Longbow requires Titanite, so let's buy some of those. Has eight. Let's buy all of them. Guess I'm gonna use them at some point or another. Long bow. Oh my god! I see. I. All right, we can buy those though. It's not a problem. I did say I was gonna show you guys the uh, the improvements that I was gonna do. So bear with me here. Suck it up. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So. Every this this one's I think it's 2,500 a piece. Yeah, it's just too expensive. Too expensive. Oh, we can improve them here. And as soon as I get the um one of the infusements, I'll use that on the bow on the long bow. Wait, can I do the uh? No, I need chunks now. All right. Well, that's good enough for now. So which one does more damage? So it's one. Oh, wait. Let me just equip it. Oh shit, no, I messed it up, I messed it up, I messed it up. That's the broken sword, short sword, and uh, short bow, plus six, cool. So, <clears throat> uh, 104 with the short bow, and uh, 105 with the long bow, and the long bow is two improvements below. So, that goes to show the power of the long bow, man. It's pretty good. But yeah, so if, if they do the same damage, we might as well just do the short bow, because it just draws faster, so. It seems kind of obvious to me. So let's go to here. Let's go through the wharf. Not a big fan of this place. It usually gets me killed a lot. I, I usually don't like... Um, let me sip my coffee here. Mm. I'm usually not a fan. I've said this... Uh, I, I do say this a lot. I'm not a fan of areas that are dark. Like, I like to experience the brightness of this game, because it's, it's a gorgeous game, it really is. And I don't know, it just feels cooler, just exploring the brighter areas. And I, I understand that a lot of this game is dark. Like, that's just a fact, it's just what the game is. But I, uh, I'm not a fan, and places like No Man's Wharf are especially dark, and it just makes me want to, like, speedrun them. Which obviously gets me killed most of the time, which makes me hate the place even more. See what I'm, where I'm going with this? It's like a spiral of sadness and depression. And the, uh, and Worf is the center of it all. Blah. Blah indeed, man. Oh my god. Freaking delayed attacks. I hate them. I hate everything, guys. I hate all kinds of stuff. Woo, oh, that was close. But hey, let's put our happy face and take it like a man. Fight on the wharf. Soul of a proud knight. And a halberd. Cool. Getting a lot of souls, which is nice. I definitely need to buy some more life gems. I should go to the, um... I don't remember the name of the merchant. The girl merchant. And get some of those, um... Some of those healing gems. I should also buy the, uh... The Faris stone from her. This is new. The, yeah, those are the guys from Drang Lake Castle. So he's gonna be pretty difficult to defeat. So I'm supposed to be a lot stronger than this when fighting this guys. Yeah, he's gonna block everything. Well, that is obnoxious. I might be able to parry him if I'm good enough. Here we go. Ah, well. The uh, target shield kind of makes it easy, to be honest. Oh, well, their health seems to be, um, lowered, which makes sense. This is way too early for you to be giving me Drying Lake Soldiers, to be honest. But, okay. I was worried for a second it was going to be really difficult. 
Oh, there we go. See, I told you guys that I was going to get that at some point or another. They wouldn't just, like, completely remove it. Though I'm curious as to why they put it so late. Like, wh what was, why not just leave it where it was if you're just going to give it to me anyways? Hmm. I don't know. Like, I understand. Okay, you know what? It's Christ. It, it is cooler that they just move things for the sake of moving it. Like, oh, because some items are moved specifically so that you get them later or that you have to do or surpass a very specific challenge before you get them, right? Like the Dull Ember, you have to defeat. The, you get it early, sure, but you still have to defeat the Pursuer to get it. And only if you defeat the Pursuer, even if you go all the way to the Bastille through the wharf, you still have to defeat the Pursuer. Like, that makes sense, right? And that's probably the best way of doing it, but I still appreciate it. I think it's still good that they move things just for the sake of moving them, even if you don't have to do anything special for it. Just because it makes it more interesting. Oh my god. I don't think I have another petrified... Uh, uh, wait, what do you call those? The um, the branches of yore. But now this... You see, this makes me wonder... Oh, whoa! This makes me wonder what could be behind there. That... Because I'm going to spend a freaking branch. Those branches are not easy to come by. By the way, so there better be something good. Otherwise, like wasting one of those is kind of bad. Hmm. But if you remember, <laughs> and we all remember, there's a lot of uh, a lot of sections in the original Dark Souls 2 that require you to. Use one of those branches of yours to proceed, but they actually don't give you anything good. There's one that I think gives you a Black Knight axe. No, it's not an axe. It's a, it's a halberd? Either an axe or, or a halberd. I don't remember which one, but... Uh, one of them is useless. Another one just gives you a Black Knight weapon. So some of them are kind of useless, and you end up just wasting the branch. And I... So, so like, you know, now I'm thinking, like, well... Do I really want to use it now? Look at this guy. <laughs> Fell out short, buddy. No, oh, makes me feel bad. Actually, I might not even be able to make it. I'm making fun of him. Yeah, we can actually push him towards the water. No, oh damn it. I right, still good. There used to also be a body here, uh, a, uh, a, a hollow that would um, wake up as soon as you would pass by. And he would always ambush you on the back, and for whatever reason, they moved him. All right. There's also supposed to be... Oh, there it is. The, the pirate. I call them pirates. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea why I call them pirates. Here we go. Whoa! Where the hell did this guy come from? Wait. Where the hell did you come from? I don't remember. Oh my god. Keep moving things. And a doggy here. Okay, this is no bueno. I can deal with almost anything except doggies. Doggies are so hard to feed for me with the uh, with the bow. Unless I get them like this, yeah. But if they're already up in my grill, it's so hard. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I should also, you know what? I almost forgot. You guys remember? I don't remember the name of the girl. The uh, the merchant girl in the uh, Forest of Giants. There was a Titanite lizard up there, like above her, that we just completely we didn't miss, but we couldn't kill it because uh, well, I mean, I just failed to kill it. It's as simple as that. Oh wow. We should definitely go back there and uh, and get it. We cannot forget that. We don't necessarily need the twinklings, but they sometimes gives you uh, they give you chunks, and we could totally go for those. Yeah, you might all just go down the normal way. Actually, wait, wait, wait. There must be. I think there's something I can do here. Can I just like drop on top of something? No, I can't. Cannot. Hmm. I want to be careful here. I think I can go this way. Let me let me trigger this guy before he becomes a problem, because that area is just full of enemies. Damn it. It's very difficult, actually. Nailed it! 
Awesome. Yeah, and this guy's all wake up probably. Nice. Oh, this is the archer that I was making fun of before. Cool. Fire arrows. Fantastic. Let's just go ahead and get this. All right, all right. Oh, by the way, the um the mage. Oh, look what he's gonna break it. This is also new. I think they added this, right? For the scholar, there's a bridge here now that you can use to cross over, so you don't have to like freaking go all the way around the the wharf just to get to the boss. But I think I might actually have to be there to break it with a uh, with a melee weapon. I don't think the game would allow me to shoot this. Ah, got a little almost crash there for whatever reason. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna allow me to to just shoot this. It would be kind of cheap if I could just skip the entire wharf just to get there. But okay, can't be wasting any more wooden arrows. I'm already getting dangerously close to not having any. So let's be uh, let's be careful. Hmm. Take this guy. Very careful. This is what makes the archer so deadly sometimes. Oh, damn it. There we go. Being able to do this sort of thing. All right. This is why I wanted to kill the uh, the pirate on the ceiling before, because having to deal with three of these guys and a freaking pirate. Yeah. How about, how about no? Oh, wait, you should be dead. Mm. Uh, oh, God. Wait, what? Oh, my God. What's happening? People are coming out of the water. Seriously, man, what is this? Freaking Vikings from Civilization getting improvements on water embarking. <laughs> Coming out of Okay, that was a silly joke. That was a very specific joke, actually. But at least five of you will get it and we'll get a crack out of it. And uh, I cannot get that anymore. Nope, I drop, I die. Just like every single one of those bloodstains. <laughs> Casual noobs. Look at this guy. <laughs> See, it makes me happy because it's not like he got killed by somebody. <laughs> he just attacked too much <laughs> and fell down. <laughs> I find the suffering of others to be entertaining. Um, you know what? I was going to say I'm weird because of that, but I think everyone would agree that's actually hilarious. Um, should I use the flask? Yeah, what the hell? Let's go for a drink. Um, I think this guy is an ally. I don't think he attacks me, right? Yeah, yeah, he'll follow me. He um, he helps me out, keep the monsters, the dark monsters, away from me. Cause if you guys remember, they're scared of light. Oh, arrows. That's cool. So, anyways, yeah, it's kind of cool. Mm, I think if you hit him once, he might turn aggressive. Might. Can I... No, I still have to hit it. Wait, can I actually walk on this water? I had no idea. Yeah, I still don't think there's a way, a shortcut to the other side. I I'm not gonna try. I don't wanna accidentally kill myself. I would feel foolish. And... Um, I need to start considering the fact that I'm actually going to run out of arrows before I finish this. Unless I keep getting them. Oh god damn it, see this is why I hate them fighting. I said it before, fighting these guys from, from point blank, it's ridiculous because their hitbox is so small, your arrows literally go through them. Dude, target him. Okay, let's accidentally not hit. No! What the fuck? He's walking. Purposely trying to get hit. Oh my god. It's impossible. It's literally impossible. Jesus. He would actually... The, the torch monster, which I'm, that's what I'm going to call him by now, from now on. Torch monster. He could have killed me though if he wanted to. That might actually be a really good tactic for enemies. Just like, oh no, I'm a friend of yours. Don't, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll light up the world. Help you out in your time of need, and then when I least expect it, just backstabbing bitches. Wait, there's a. Oh look, she's here now. Let's go. They're changing their positions. There used to be a pirate there though, so I'm a little worried now. 
Oh, nice! I one-shot them on a headshot. That is amazing. Oh, shit! If I knew that before! My life would be a lot easier. Look, let's see if this works. If I can one-shot them from here. Yeah! Oh! I think it's the, uh... The fact that the arrow starts going down by the time it reaches them, that the damage is lowered. Or maybe I just got lucky before. That could also be the case. <laughs> it's kind of fun just trying to do it like this. It really is. Alright, so let's change back to our sword. This place is kind of tight. Alright, we don't have anything. So how do you guys think I'm doing with this 100 build? It's working pretty well, isn't it? I specifically like to, to do it because I know that a lot of people don't necessarily play this way. I already had the discussion before, but I think for the most part, archery just kind of feels like a gimmick in this game. It, it, most people just necessarily wouldn't play like this, especially not as a full run as an archer. Maybe to pull some guys, or maybe even just like poison a boss or something, but for the most part, people just... I don't think people... I mean, I'm generalizing here hardcore, but I don't think people necessarily do this as, a, as an actual build. So it's kind of fun just to give it a shot. No pun intended. Play around it and then just have fun with it. I will definitely say though, it's a lot better than in Dark Souls 1. If you guys remember how it used to be, honestly, anything but melee in Dark Souls 1. It was just horrendous. Magic just felt clunky as hell. Every spell would take literally forever to cast. Archery, again, the same thing. You couldn't even move while... See, at least you could... my movement slows down like considerably whenever I'm shooting an arrow. But I can still move. And it's not like it takes that long to shoot an arrow anyways. But in Dark Souls 1, it took longer to shoot the arrow and you couldn't even move. You had to stay completely and utterly still whenever you were doing it. It was just, I don't know, man, clunky and weird and just difficult, I guess. At least I'm really happy that they actually made it viable even though it's pretty much not really supposed to be used like this. And the only... The, the only reason I'm saying that is just because look at the damage discrepancies, right? Like, I, I, I have 40 freaking, like, ah! <laughs> I got 40 uh, dexterity. I think it's 39, actually, but whatever, to be precise. <laughs> I got a shit ton of dexterity, and I'm doing less damage than what I would do with just, like, my normal shitty sword. That is not improved, either, by the way. Like, it, it feels, yeah. Just by the damage discrepancies, it feels like it's definitely not intended. I don't know. A lot of people would probably disagree. I'm trying to- Someone is freaking shooting me, man. Uh-oh, uh oh This is not where I parked my car. Okay. I also never figured out what this was all about. It's like a random cave that does nothing. Is that curious? The developers actually just made this cave here. That looks curious, but there's no reason for it. You ready for game? Exactly. It feels weird. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one. I mean, obviously I'm not. Since the guy literally posted that. Oh boy, I tried to parry, but it's kind of difficult to do that with. And the ginormous lantern just there. For whatever reason. <laughs> it's so stupid. Look at that. <laughs> what the hell, man? It's like, what if we make a lantern? A really, really big lantern. But can we just burn torches? No, no, you don't understand. You have no style. Get out of our city, you scumbag. It's kind of silly. <laughs> Weakness plunging attack. Fire arrows, fantastic. Um, that is a lot of monsters. Don't necessarily want to deal. I think I'm just gonna drop here. I don't want to miss the secret. Oh! I totally forgot about this guy. I think they're invisible, right? Until they appear and attack you. Definitely do not see him. But I think those are new characters. I don't know if they were, like, more rare in the original game, but I don't think I ever saw one of those. 
But yeah, they appear out of nowhere here in the uh, in, in Scholar. Makes them kind of annoying. Oh, look at this guy. This is like the worst idea for a freaking ambush. Just spending hundreds of thousands of years just chilling there, waiting for someone to pass by. Just to give you a mediocre, at best, ambush. Because it's not even a good ambush, which is the sad part. Oh my god. I would understand if you like you were to grab some kind of a towel that had the same color, it was as dirty as the walls, to camouflage yourself with the walls and then just like appear behind somebody and kill them. Yeah, but <laughs> grabbing yourself up to a ledge? <laughs> what? I mean, he really wants to make it work because that's a lot of work that you're putting in there, just for a silly ambush. So he really wants to make it happen, but holy shit, man. The poison would have killed him either way, but... Got 52 wooden arrows. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to uh, kill the... What's the name of the boss here? Versatile oh, Branch of Yore. Awesome! We could probably go back and use it. But uh, anyways, what's the name of the... Oh, Flexible Guardian is what it is. Okay. Kind of forgot. Wait, what do I have to do here? Oh, I have to hit it, right? Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, what? No! Yeah, the problem with fighting those lizards with a bow is that if they're running away from you, your arrows will always hit a little bit before them, so you will never hit them unless they hit a wall or something. It's very easy to hit them, obviously, if they're still or whatever, but like if they're running, you just cannot hit them the way the... The bow attack works, it's just not gonna happen. So you gotta be careful there. Alright, that's actually a really good ring for us, but I don't think I wanna sacrifice anything just yet. Maybe if we get a heavier armor, it'll be okay. What the fu- Really? We can't use arrows to- Okay. Well, that makes things a little bit different. We might have to be poisoned to, uh, to get the flame butterflies. Unless they moved it and it's not actually a flame butterfly anymore. Um, okay, so do we have an anti out? Uh, yeah, I guess we do. Alright. Yep, one flame butterfly. You gotta make sure to, uh, to grab it just so that you can use it for the, um, for the, uh, Lost Sinner. Otherwise you're gonna have a pretty bad time, so you really should make sure to get that item. And, uh, okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Let's make sure to kill this guy. There's also a vendor here, the, uh, this is the guy that, wait, let me see if I can show you, uh, the guy that sits over there. I don't think we have, oh boy, I don't think we have the necessary intelligence for him to even talk to us, because I guess we're just not smart enough to have a conversation with him or something. But, uh... He's the one that I think, okay, I think he's the one that Zills, uh... There's a dog running towards me, isn't there? Fuck, I feel like there is. Anyways, he's the one that sells the new items for Scholars of the... Of the, of the First Sin. He's the guy that gives you the uh, the new weapon, the new, the new great sword, the new scythe, and you know, whatever. I guess there's a ring and there's a, a, a an armor set that you can get. He's the one that sells them. But the the way it works is there is a new invader that attacks you randomly in the game now. He's called the Forlorn, I think. And uh, he I think he attacks you like maybe seven or ten times, and uh, to unlock the new items that you can buy from the guy. You have to kill him uh, a specific number of times, right? So, like, say, for example, like, oh, you might have to kill him five times to unlock the great sword, seven times for the scythe, you know, etc., etc. So that's that's how it works. We still haven't fought him once, and to be honest, I have no clue where he's supposed to spawn, because if he spawns in very specific locations, then I probably should know that so that I would go to those locations, because otherwise I'm, I usually tend to skip a lot of material. Then again, there's nothing really that the the the, the 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 seller would have that I would want. The ring makes it so that whatever soul you get as you're wearing it, 
uh, you don't get the soul. Instead, the ring absorbs the soul. So I'm assuming that it's made so that you don't actually lose souls when you die. Which is kind of cool. And then I'm sure that the ring works like some kind of uh, soul of uh, of a knight or something where you can just use it at any point in time and get your souls back. It's just like a bank of souls, pretty much is what it is. Which is kind of cool, to be honest. Uh, I, I definitely do like the idea of it. Can I push this? Oh, wait, I have to do it. Like this. That I had to hit it. Boop. Awesome. But yeah, the um, the, the great sword is just a great sword. The scythe is just a scythe. Uh, both weapons get stronger the more hollow you are, which is kind of cool. And they're supposed to be really, really good or so. I read. And uh, the set is just a, a light armor set, it seems like. I don't think it's this guy, actually. Hmm. I see light. I am. Yeah, I don't think this is the guy that sells them. It might just be... Strayed? Oh boy, I don't remember. I think it's Strayed, to be honest. But I'm not sure. Again, there's really nothing that I would want from him, so... I'm not really particularly excited to figure out the guy. What I'm worried about is just my lack of arrows. This is going to be enough. See, I can probably do this. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to kill the remaining soldiers with my uh, with my sword and then just use the arrows for the boss. It's probably better than the other way around. I don't want to kill the boss with my sword. I really would like to not have that happen to me. I believe these guys also drop a, 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 a bow that we can use. The, uh, what's it called? The belt? No, it's not the belt keeper bow, is it? It might be, but... Because they seem to use it. The belt keeper bow looks exactly like the ones they use. But it would make no sense for this guy to drop it. The belt keeper... I have it here. Belt keeper bow drops from the enhanced undead in the Sinner's Rise. So, not this once. We got, uh... Okay. Well, you seem to be a little bit out of place, buddy. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I don't think I have to defeat him necessarily. But hey, what the hell? What is an extra douche? Ow. Alright, not bad at all. Great machete! Hey! It was good we killed him. Um, cool. <laughs> it's literally what they wear. I mean, what they use. It's kind of cool. Wait, what is that second attack? Let me let me get my stamina back. That second attack looked kind of cool. Oh, that's nice. It's like a quick, just really short little swing there. That's kind of cool. Anyways, um, I'm going to use my normal life gem. Make sure to save the SS flats for the boss. And I guess we're ready. We should definitely have enough arrows to do this. Um, do I want to use my repair? Wait, I do have a repair powder, right? Holy shit, I actually don't have a repair powder. What have I been doing this whole time? Man, I'm a badass. It's not even giving a shit. Um, okay, well, we might actually get a, our weapon broken, although very unlikely. It should be all right. Flexible Sentry! Oh, I think I called him Flexible Guardian before. I mean, uh... Yeah, this is one of the bosses that was on you guys before that become hilariously easy as long as you have a, a bow. And you can tell that the fight was not really intended to be fought with a bow. <laughs> All you have to do is wait until the attack, back off, and then shoot. That's it. Oh! Got hit there once. Well then. Anyways, that attack is really only scary when you get hit by... when you're close by, because it hits you, like, multiple times. It's like a little combo attack. Otherwise, not a big deal. We don't even... As I said, I haven't leveled a single point in Vigor. So... and, and look how much damage it did. Nothing. Yep. Hey, what the hell am I using the wooden arrows for? I'm sitting here like a little silly man. Oh, that was not expected. Every time I make fun of a boss, they end up owning me. Isn't that ironic? Go. She 
Jeez, man. Okay, he's getting awfully close. The water obviously slows me down. So, in New Game Plus, uh, you don't actually get to fight the boss alone. You get to fight the boss with two... I don't remember what enemies they were, but you do fight the boss with two other enemies attacking you. I was 100% sure that it was going to be the case for... for the first sinner, for the scores of the first sin. Because, I mean, you know, the game has just... it's harder, in general, in Scholars of the First Sin. I thought it was going to be the case, because this boss is kind of easy otherwise. But nope, they just let it be easy. They didn't put those in. I thought it was kind of interesting. I was kind of expecting it to happen, and it didn't. But yeah, the water is just obnoxious. It's what makes it kind of... kind of an interesting fight, I suppose. Like fighting the Hydras in Dark Souls 1, just... Not difficult, it's just goddamn slow, man. <laughs> um, Alright, let's go!